This video is going to cover how to uh, set up number schemes in your tournament. And a number scheme is a way to uh, assign a bout number to a unique bout number to each uh, bout in your tournament. Uh, if you don't do number schemes, you don't set up or apply number schemes, you're going to use the match IDs from those brackets, which means that every weight class is going to have a 1 through you know 9 or 1 through 40, whatever the size of the bracket would be. Number schemes are going to allow you to um, identify those bouts uniquely, and you can customize these pretty much in any way that you'd like. So I'll just show you a couple different examples. Uh, if I'm in an open tournament, uh, and this, this video is uh, in particular referring to call to mat type systems. Um, if you're in a youth tournament where you're putting uh, bouts, uh, weight classes on a mat for a day, we do have another video for that. But this is more, uh, I guess, aligned towards call to mat systems. Uh, wouldn't have to be, but probably more often. So this example, I have three different um, age groups. So I'm just going to come to my operating menu. It's in some other menus too, but go to number schemes. And you'll notice there are no schemes here. Um, so I can go ahead and hit a an, uh, scheme. Uh, the most simple and I guess generic way, but a, a very good way, let's say I just wanted to number every bout in my tournament one through whatever, 500, you know, 1,000, whatever it is. I could just create an all scheme, pick all mats, all groups, and all rounds, and I'm going to start it at one. I could start this at whatever I wanted, but I'm going to start at one. I'm going to skip this match IDs. And generally, you skip buys and don't number them. If you wanted to number your buys, you could select no for skipping buys, and those buys would get numbered generally. And by default, it's going to be skip buys set to yes. But if I go ahead and add that scheme, what I've just done is created the scheme. And once I apply it, after I build brackets, it's going to give every bout in my tournament a unique number, one through x. Uh, that might work in a lot of cases, but you can be very specific with this as well. So let's say that I wanted to uh, uh, identify my uh, bouts in my event based on their age group. So I click Add Scheme, and let's, um, for lack of a better term, let's call this the young. Um, doesn't matter what mats I'm using, but let's just say that I'm only going to number these 2006, 2007 wrestlers, these the brackets that are in this age group pick all rounds and let's say that I am going to start this also with one click add and there's my scheme um, in this case we probably wouldn't have this all scheme so I will get rid of it um, again very common just to have an all scheme but if you wanted to be more specific you can so now I have this one number scheme where I'm going to number all the bouts in this age group starting with one once I once I build those and then let's say that the older older groups gonna Pick those two. I could do one for each. That would be just fine. All rounds. And let's say for this one, I'm going to start it with uh, 1,001. Uh, so now um, I just go ahead and click Add. And now I have these two different schemes. One for the younger wrestlers that's starting with one. One for the older wrestlers that's starting with thousands. Uh, you can let people in your tournament know that if you know you're in 1,000s, maybe it applies to a mat that they're on or a different gym. Uh, you could do all sorts of, I guess, kind of creative things there too. Uh, the same would apply uh, for uh, in, uh, this is actually a varsity tournament, so this is like a predefined tournament. But just to show you the same concept is there, I click Add Scheme, and let's just say I wanted to number the odd weights. And, and maybe this is the case where I'm wrestling half of the event in one gym, half in another. But I could go through and I could select using my control key these odd weights, starting with one, on, on down the line all rounds and maybe I want to start this one with I don't know 101 that might be it click add and then I could add this other scheme for maybe the even numbers so again you can get very creative very specific if you just want to and this is the most common way if you just want to number your bouts uniquely throughout your tournament one through whatever that last bout is Go ahead, create that all scheme, do all rounds, all weights, and away you go. But number schemes, very important. Make sure after you build that you go and apply that number scheme, and there's a video in your to-do list that will show you how to do that.